welcome to my channel, Donna's Crafty Creations. I'm back with a Brother Scan and Cut and Canvas Workspace video that was inspired by some of the comments and questions that I've received from viewers. Many of them have come from new users of the Scan and Cut, but I've also gotten questions from some viewers who just need a refresher uh, or they have a question on whether or not something is possible to do, or even about an error that they've encountered and has them stumped. Some of the queries that I've received have even given me issues and a pause for thought. Uh, there will be things that I've not encountered before, or even things that I have, but I myself need to refresh my knowledge. I've made videos in the past that have addressed mainly the Canvas Workspace subjects. Uh, I've focused on such things as importing, exporting files, image tracing, using the path tool editing function, and so forth. So in this series, which I'm going to begin with this video, I would like to make it as beginner friendly as possible. But that doesn't mean that if you aren't a beginner, it's not for you. You indeed could, I hope, find value from these videos. As you can see from the title, although it is intended to be uh, beginner friendly, anyone at any stage of their scanning cut and Canvas Workspace Journey, or even those who haven't even purchased the Scan and Cut yet, could benefit from these. Um, in the case of those who aren't at the moment Scan and Cut users, I would hope that these videos will give them some good information that they can take under consideration before they commit to bind this absolutely fantastic machine. Now in this first video in this series, I'm going to address the differences between the file formats that you will come across in the Brother Scan and Cut machine and Canvas Workspace. And these are primarily the FCM files, as well as those that are called CWPRJ. And I'll also briefly touch on Artspira, which is Brother's latest cloud-based platform that allows you to connect with a wireless Brother embroidery machine and wireless enabled scan and cut machines using a tablet or a smartphone. Now, believe it or not, Brother's pride proprietary, let me get that right, <laughs> proprietary uh, file uh, is called the FCM cutting file. It was originally intended as a fabric cutting file, so therefore FC for fabric cutting. But Brother wasn't satisfied that this machine was going to be as useful as a cutting machine as they had planned. So over time, it transitioned from that into something that paper crafters could make very good use of. And so now you will find that paper crafters, those who work in vinyl, uh, and also those who are continuing to sew, to quilt, to applique, to embroider, can use this machine. Now, the file uh, format, the FCM file format, is a rendering of black and white shapes that are strictly cutting files. That has not changed since the conception of the scan and cut machine. It only uses the outline of shapes, so it essentially ignores the like colors. Of course, perhaps the most brilliant feature of the Scan and Cut 
is its high quality scanning capability, along with the ability to use most of the functions that you would find in Canvas Workspace solely on the machine alone. So that means you can use it as a standalone cutting device without having to connect to a computer or mobile device. So as a standalone machine, the scan and cut is quite a powerful beast. Now the other format that you will see is the one that you will find in the download version of Brothers Editing Software, which is Canvas Workspace. This software is downloaded to a PC, and that can be a Mac or a Windows-based PC. And the CWPRJ stands for Canvas Workspace Project. And it includes features not found solely on the machine, such as color fills, process overlap functions to do with uh, dividing files, removing overlaps, subtracting to name but a few. So when you start a project in the download version of Canvas Workspace, you will automatically be creating a project file or CWPRJ, which you can then save and access over and over again to continue designing or editing. These files are not, I repeat, are not cutting files. You won't be able to input them to your machine. Instead, you will export or transfer them to your machine as an FCM cutting file. Similarly, in the online or the browser version of Canvas Workspace, you have what are called My Projects. That function in the same way as the CWPRJ files, except they reside on the cloud. You then can open those anytime and, like with the download version, carry on designing and editing. Also, with both versions of projects, whether that be in the download version or in the online version, you can work anywhere on the screen. Any visible portion of the screen is available to you. You're not restricted to the cutting area boundary. The cutting area restriction is only when you want to send a file to the machine. So if you're brand new to Canvas Workspace, I recommend you go to my introductory video, which covers the A to Z of both versions of Canvas Workspace. Now there have been a few updates to the features that are now available in the download version and I hope to make a video that will bring you up to speed on those additions as a supplement to my introductory video. But in the meantime, I'll leave a link to the video in the description below and I'll also try to remember to add it as a card here in this video so that you can just click on it and go directly to it. Now, just to recap, an FCM file is Brother's cutting file format, whereas the CWPRJ files in the download version and my projects in the online version are for design, not cutting. You can open an FCM file directly the machine. You can also open an SVG file in Canvas Workspace and the software is going to convert it to an FCM file when it sends it to your machine to be cut. Now most machines, I'm not absolutely 100% sure uh, which ones do and don't. I know all the wireless machines will accept SVG files directly to your machine, whether that be through a USB flash drive or a cable that you've connected to your computer. But if you encounter uh, 
a problem trying to import an SVG file because, because maybe you have the very first model of the scan and cut and I don't know for certain if the firmware has updated those so that you can import the SVG files if you uh, want to let me know I would gladly uh, welcome that information in my comments uh, but if you do have a problem then simply use canvas workspace to open the file instead now i did mention artsphere which funnily enough <laughs> stands for art plus inspiration although you can use a tablet an iPad or an Android tablet to use the browser-based Canvas workspace. Using a smartphone does present challenges of its own, mainly due to the screen size. Without having to adjust the viewing space from portrait to landscape or vertical to horizontal, and even then finding that the software may not be able to adapt to your screen, Brother introduced Art Spira. Now, the primary focus at the time was for the Brother embroidery and applique market, but without leaving out the paper and vinyl crafting. Art Spira, which is available free from your app shop, lets you design, edit, and transfer your files on the go from your mobile device and as with canvas workspace there are free projects as well as premium content like disney for example that you can purchase our spirit also has free and premium files and they also put out a magazine where you can get inspiration I hope that this video has helped anyone to demystify the Brother Scan and Cut file format, what their purposes are, as well as inspire those of you who want to design on the go with your mobile devices by downloading and using ArtSpear. If you found this video useful, please leave a like, a comment, and share it with someone else. If you aren't already subscribed, please consider doing so today and click on the notifications so you'll be alerted when I upload another video. You never know what you might be getting. Another scan and copy get a friendly video, a card making project, a sewing or quilting video, even something else. In the meantime, please do take care. Bye for now. Bye.